This is how you can make a random quote command using your discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get access to the source code from this video or other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership on YouTube or a subscription over on Discord. On Discord, if you get the god or custom bot tier, you will get access to that source code, and over on YouTube, if you get the super god or custom bot tier, you will also get access to that source code. Of course, on both of the platforms here, if you get the custom bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this is of interest to you, go and click the links in the description below to get started with this, and let's go and get into the video. So we can start by going over to community, and we're going to go ahead and create random quotes.js. We can go ahead and start by getting our slash command builder. We can also get our embed builder, and then we can do equals require, and we're going to go ahead and get our discord.js package. Next, we can do const axios equals require, and we're going to go ahead and get axios. Make sure you install that so that we can use the API. Then we can do module.exports. We're going to go ahead and open this up and get our data, which is going to be our new slash command builder. Then we can go ahead and set a name. This is going to be our random quote command. And we can go ahead and set a description. We can say get a random quotes. Then we can add a comma. We're going to do async executes. So we can go ahead and get our interaction and we're going to go ahead and open this up. And here we're going to go ahead and defer a reply just like this. And we're going to go ahead and set informal to true just so that you are the only one who can see this message. Then we're going to go ahead and get all the data we need to put into the API to return our random quote. So we can do const inputs, and we can go ahead and open up a new object. We're going to get our method, which is going to be our git, and we can do our URL. This is going to be the URL from the Rapid API. The link to this API will be in the description below if you need to actually get this from it. Next, we're going to go ahead and get our headers, which is going to be our API key and our API host. So I've gone ahead and put this in. It's going to be the X rapid API key and the X rapid API host. So this is where you're going to go ahead and put your API key in. Uh, you can get it from the link in the description below. And for the host, this is what you're going to want to go ahead and put in here. This is basically the API. Uh, just make sure you actually add your key in. I'm going to put mine in at the end of this code part, just so I don't have to blur anything out. Next, we're going to go in and try, and we can do const output, and we can do equals await xios our request, and we're going to go in and get our input. So we're basically putting our inputted values into the output variable, and then from there, we can go in and write an embed, and we're going to do new embed builder, and we can just go ahead and set a color, and this is going to be blurple. And we're going to go ahead and set a description here. And we can go ahead and open up a string. We're going to do output.data.content. And then I'm going to go ahead and copy in a symbol here. This is a like pretty long line symbol. You could also just do a dash. Um, I got this long line from just Googling it. Um, it makes the author look a little bit nicer. We can italicize this. And we're going to go ahead and put in our output.data.originator.name. So we're going to go ahead and get the quote here. And then we're going to go ahead and get the author of the quote. So the person who uh, is being quoted. Uh, just so that you know who it came from and it's not just like some random quote that you got from nowhere basically then we can do await interaction to edit reply and we can go ahead and get our embeds and we're also going to go ahead and get our embed you could go ahead and console.log output.data because there's some other pretty cool interesting uh, information that this api will provide you with about the quote uh, that you could add but for me i'm just going to put in the quote then we can go ahead and catch an error and we're going to go in and open this up we can go ahead and console.log our error and just so the developer knows what's going on and we can go ahead and await interaction edit reply and we can go ahead and say content we're going to go ahead and say there was an error try again later and with that we are actually done with all of this code so i'm going to go ahead and add my api key in now if you haven't done so please do so now and after you do that we can go ahead and save the file restart the bot and test this out all right so over on the discord server we can go ahead and get our random quotes command and all we have to do is just send it because there's no input uh, with a string so as you can see here, it's going to go ahead and load, and then it's going to give us the quote. Now, one thing I forgot to do was put an extra star here so we can italicize this author. I'm going to go and do that real quick. So we can go and try this a couple more times. We're going to go and get random quote, and it's going to go ahead and think, and it's going to give us another random quote, and this time it italicized the author there. We can just go ahead and do this like one or two more times. There's another random quote here, and we can go in and do this one more time just for the video, and here comes another random quote. So yeah, so that is how you can code a random quotes command using your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels. And we'll be happy to help you out. And you might just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.